Hey, David, how healthy are your pipes? That's a personal question, don't you think? <laughs> you don't know, do you? I do not. I'm talking about your home's pipes. Oh, oh, homes. Oh, they're fine. Yeah. Plumbing disasters can be expensive and are preventable. John McCalmet reports from Waco, Texas. Have you checked your pipes lately? Most homeowners take their home's plumbing for granted and only really think about it when an emergency happens, like a backed up toilet or a sink that won't drain. There are ways to do proper maintenance to your plumbing that will hopefully avoid that emergency phone call to the plumber. Today on Designing Spaces, we take a plumbing checkup with Paul Kitchen, a plumbing technician from Mr. Reuter Plumbing. Mr. Reuter, welcome to my house. John McCalmont. John, nice to meet you. My name is Paul with Mr. Reuter Plumbing. Paul, I am all excited about getting my plumbing checkup. Let's go inside and get it started. Well, Paul, we're in the kitchen and we've got a lot of plumbing here. What are some of the things we can do in our kitchen to prevent plumbing emergencies? Well, your garbage disposal is an important part of your plumbing. You know, this garbage disposal has a strange odor coming from it. And Mr. Reuter, we call that bad breath. What happens is food gets built up in the disposer along with grease and soap scum buildup. So that causes the, an odor to stay in there. One of the things that we can do to eliminate that uh, bad breath is um, we use ice in the garbage disposal to clean it, to scour the inside of the garbage disposal. And then we're gonna go ahead and stand back a little bit and we're gonna turn this down. And as you can see, there's a lot of buildup in this disposer. And then run a little hot water and that will actually stop the freeze of the water and everything will go down the drain. Well, Paul, welcome to my laundry room. Well, thank you. <laughs> what are some of the things in here that I can do to prevent a plumbing emergency? Well, one of the things that we at Mr. Reuter recommend, um, if you have the rubber washing machine hoses, those really should be changed out. Um, okay, obviously I have rubber washing machine you hoses do. on here. Uh, the National Flood Insurance Institute says that that's the number one cause of floods in home is the rubber washing machine hoses because they, they get old and they, they uh, burst. So what should I do to remedy that? So, so well, stainless steel braided wash machine hoses. They are non-burst hoses, um, so we recommend that those be put on. Hey, let's go check out the hot water heater. Okay, let's go take a look. Well, Paul, this is something that I really never even think about, the hot water heater. What can I do to have preventative maintenance up here? We recommend that the water heater be drained at least every six months. How do I flush my system? Is there a drain hose on it? There is. Um, there's a hose spigot at the bottom of your water heater. You can attach a hose to the spigot right here. Um, and once the hose is attached and securely outside or, or in a, attached to another drain where it has a place to drain out, you can turn this on and it'll drain the water heater. But one thing that you do want to keep in mind is this, this right here is in the drain pan is insulation and you don't want anything blocking this drain pan. I got to tell you, Paul, I saved the best for last. <laughs> do you mind taking a look at my bathroom? Let's go take a look. All right. Well, you know, the most embarrassing thing that can happen in your house is when your toilet backs up. Well. We offer hydro scrubbing. Um, over a period of time, those drains get congested. So hydro scrubbing is, is you know, it, we'll get it, we can get in there and open those drains back up. So we can camera those sewer lines if, if we find that that's necessary um, and make sure that there's no root intrusion in those sewer lines. Paul, thank you so much for coming out on Designing Spaces today, showing us around the house and showing us tips and techniques to prevent a plumbing disaster. John, it was my pleasure. And I'd also like to thank Mr. Reuter for sending Paul out with us today and giving us a great education on how to avoid plumbing disasters. I'm John McCalmont in Waco, Texas for Designing Spaces. We have so much more to show you about what you can do to better your homes and lifestyles, but we'll have to wait till our next show. We're out of time. Yes, we are. Thanks for joining us today on Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.